that's it. Something must be addressed. But first, thank you so much for clicking on my video because uh, I know there's like a ton of other videos on this topic that you probably could have watched instead, but uh, the fact that you clicked on mine, thanks a lot. Anyway, if you're a regular here on the channel, you may have seen the video I made recently on the uh, Womier Gamma K K87, where I fully customized it and I really transformed it and turned it into a uh, super spooky themed type of build um, with a like full Halloween theme. So uh, pretty cool, right? So, or at least I thought so, but uh, when I did the typing test at the end of the video, if you guys saw it, there was just one thing that I kind of neglected to do just for the sake of time and the fact that I've never done it before. And and uh, that absolutely must be fixed pronto. That was basically the stabilizers. Uh, the freaking stabs on that keyboard rattle so bad they sound like a damn spray paint can when you're, when you're shaking it up. Okay, uh, so in this video we're gonna fix it. But uh, do you know what you're not gonna wanna have to fix ever? your Windows 10 installation. So <laughs> you won't have to actually because today's sponsor, URCD Key, can help you out. URCD Key has discounted codes for games and software that are a fraction of what you would pay if you purchased them from a retail store. More specifically, they have great prices with Windows 10 OEM and retail as well. If that's not enough, you can also use my promo code RAV20 to receive 20% off the already discounted price. Just type in the product you're looking for, add it to the cart, view your cart, head to the checkout, and then type in my promo code RAV20 and see the sweet savings appear. But wait, PayPal isn't working for you? You just need to scroll down to the bottom right, click this link right here, and make sure you use that promo code they give you at checkout, and PayPal should work like a charm. Check the links in the video description to learn more. All right, so to get this started, let me preface this with, if you didn't see my previous video featuring the K87 before, make sure you guys go ahead and click on this and check that out, uh, because I basically took apart and lubed the Gatoron yellow switches that are in it and did the whole entire process so you guys could see it. Also, I need to let you guys know that shortly after filming the video, I, uh, well, I had a little accident and I accidentally uh, spilled coffee all over the keyboard, and I basically had to completely take it apart and clean every single little part of the board as best as I could. So I'm sure during this little teardown and whatnot that I'm showing here, you'll see a couple small stains that I couldn't get completely off uh, because they basically just stayed on the part that they're on. And I took the com keyboard completely apart, including all the switches, and I tried my best. But I also wanted to mention all of this because in the video, you'll see that I had the keyboard completely apart, like I just said. Uh, and normally to get your stabs out and to get them lubed and clipped and all that, you don't have to take your keyboard completely apart like I did here. I just had it like that because I absolutely had to to clean it. But uh, normally you can just grab the stabilizers and you can just pull them out. Anyway, with the cleanup done, I finally went ahead and started the process of lubing, clipping, and taping my stabilizers. Check it out.
Okay, now that we have the stabilizers fixed, I decided to go a step further with the KD7 and customize it yet again. So yeah, I, I know, I have a problem. I buy too much keyboard stuff, but anyway. So what I decided to do with this keyboard this time was to go ahead and toss on another Synthwave slash Vaporwave themed keycap set uh, from Bossy. Yes, that is actually the name. Nice, describes them and it's kind of what they are. Link is in the description if you guys want them anyway. And uh, these seem to be pretty nice right out of the box. They are double shot ABS plastic. Uh, shine through and have a pretty good machining quality as well. Nothing too bad that I noticed, but anyway, along with those, you already know we had to go ahead and throw in a custom artisan keycap for our escape key. So I went with another one of those Astron skulls from the Hotkeys project and got it off of mechanicalkeyboards.com. So this time it's in the purple blue colorway, and uh, I think it looks pretty dang awesome. So now that we have the KD7 refreshed with a new awesome look, I took it over to my desk and plugged in our amazing custom themed cable from Calamity Cables and I paired it with the laser pink mouse mat from Odin Gaming. Thing looks freaking awesome. I think we have another winner on our hands fam, might have to stay on the desk for a little while. But anyway, B-roll. All right, Visuals fam, that's gonna be it for another customization video featuring the Womier Gamma K K87. And man, like I said, I may have to keep this one on my desk for a little while. I know I always say that and it never happens. But anyway, 
wishful thinking, right? Because I, uh, I really dig the vibe it gives off and I'm really loving the feel and sound of this keyboard now that the stabilizer rattle is long gone. So yeah, I was pretty skeptical about what the electrical tape that I used in this video would actually do, but now that I've typed and game with it a bit, I can really, really tell the difference. But uh, the real question is, can you guys tell the difference? So please go ahead and let me know in the comments below your guys' thoughts on the keyboard. Did it change the sound? Does it sound any different? Do you guys actually enjoy the sound or does it sound absolutely terrible? Let me know. But anyway, as always, if you guys enjoyed this one, make sure to go ahead and drop the video a like and smash that subscribe button as well with the notification bell because uh, you guys want to go ahead and join the visuals fam and never miss another video like this one. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.